Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is 2005's Transformers Cybertron Leader Class Optimus Prime. Now, this is a figure that has been on my shelf for years, and I don't think I've touched him since 2005. He's been in robot mode and stayed in robot mode as I've moved him from one room to the other as I rearrange and move my display around. But since my Galvatron and Drop Shot reviews were so popular, I figure it was time to take him off the shelf and check him out. But before we do, I want to let you guys know that I'm doing a sale right now on my Teespring store, now through Memorial Day. So you can get any of my products. I've got t-shirts, hoodies, tank tops, face masks, what have you. You get 25% off with the code MEMDAY21 at checkout. So there'll be a link oh, to my Teespring store in the description of this video. So now, without further ado, let's check out this massive Transformer. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> We'll start things off by taking a look at Optimus's vehicle mode first. And his vehicle mode for this line was some sort of Cybertronian weaponized fire truck. This vehicle didn't put out fires, this one calls them. And this is one impressive vehicle. It's big and bulky and quite heavy. This vehicle really has some heft to it. Lots of great molded details and paint applications all the way around. Even the back of the vehicle looks really, really good. Taking a closer look at the cab, you've got these translucent windows right here, translucent light bar, white stripes, gray grill, black bumper, and I love how this looks right here with the bumpers. That looks so cool. You've got translucent lights right here on the front with some orange paint applications. Autobot logo, tampographed right there on either side. More translucent windows right there on the side. You got some silver detailing right there. I love the detailing right there. That looks great. Wheels look really good. And one thing about the wheels, all of my wheels touch the ground except for this one. If you watch, I'm rolling around. This one just does not connect with the ground and I can't figure out why it's pushed in all the way. Flip around here on the other side. I mean, he just has that one wonky wheel. Now, for a quick size comparison, here we have 2005's Leader Class Optimus Prime compared to our newest Leader Class Optimus Prime. And wow, inflation, people. <laughs> what a difference a few years makes. Now, as I stated earlier, this is a weaponized fire truck. So let's go ahead and take a look at the weapons. We'll take a look at this one here first. The weapons can are articulated so they can go up and down on really nice ratchets and they can actually swing out you do have to kind of hold this in place so this whole section doesn't unpeg from the vehicle but you swing these out and angle them up and that is really cool i dig that so there's another complaint with the vehicle mode is this section right here this whole 
portion does not peg in. The trailer, tractor trailer part, excuse me, the cab part attaches only via a couple pegs here in the back. You try to move these around, this section is gonna move, so you do wanna hold that in place. Now the gimmick with this launcher is, you can see the little blue missiles, and right here, you press this down, will fire, I said will fire, there you go, that main missile from right there. Now, being the Cybertron line, this does have a gimmick. So you've got your little cyber key here. And to be honest, I don't think this cyber key goes with Optimus Prime. From the pictures I've seen, it's supposed to be a blue one, but this is the cyber key I had attached, so I'm going to use it. You slide the cyber key right here and press in, and it opens up. You may have missed it. I think I was blocking the whole thing. You got these little extra launchers here on the side. There's one on either side here. Put the key in and those launchers will pop out. So now you have three missile launchers. Here's the other one. And of course the main one. You've got three missile launchers attached to this main gun here. Now spinning around to the other side, but first take note on this cannon right here, there is this blue button. So turning around so we have a better look, this cannon has the same articulation. It can go up, it can go down. Nice ratchets, gotta hold this once again to swing it around like so, but this cannon is electronic. As you can see, I accidentally hit the button. You press that little blue button, and he's got these cool laser sounds with this light up light. Now take the cyber key, slide it in here up top, and you'll hear a weapon activation sound when this is ready for full power. So these open up, it's kind of like a rail gun, if you will. So now it's a more, a more of a mega blaster. So what you'll do with this mode, press the button down and you hold it in and it's charging, charging, let go and it fires. So hold in the charge. So I think that is really cool. I love electronic gimmicks. So let's go ahead and pop that off and rotate these back into place. So that's pretty much it for fire truck mode. Now we'll transform him into his aerial mode. Yes, Optimus Prime has an aerial mode. And I hope I can get all of this on camera. What we're gonna do is swing this whole side panel out and rotate it down like so, and take the cannon and bring forward. So we've got one side, Let's see, I might have to bring this wing up. Do the same thing here. Bring the side out. Rotate around. Bring the cannon forward. So now you have, I don't think I can get this all in frame. You have Optimus Prime in flight mode. Let me see if I can zoom out for you guys. So yes, here we go. We've got a giant aerial weaponized fire truck flying in and raining down some hell on some Decepticons. That is so weird, yet glorious. Now another option for Optimus's flight mode is you can take these sections right here and fold these down to form other cannons, but I think that just leaves too big of an empty space right there along the top, so I like mine positioned just like so. Now let's transform Optimus Prime into his robot mode. And as you can see, I've already reverted him back to his weaponized fire truck mode from his flight mode. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is take this rear cannon here and remove the tip. This will be Optimus Prime's blaster for robot mode later on. Now to remove the trailer section of the fire truck, you're gonna bring these flaps out and then right here underneath, you wanna reach in, make sure you've got a hold of the blue section right there and just lift up. It's a little tight. So you've got these little pegs, mushroom pegs right here that attached right there. So now let's get Optimus straightened back out so you can take a look at him in his cab mode. And I swear this cab itself is about as long as the whole thing attached. So I'm gonna move the trailer out of the way. And here we have Prime in his cab mode. Now. You can see he does have visible robot toe syndrome right there, but hey, that goes right along with his visible robot head syndrome there. And just to give you a quick size comparison, here is just the cab of Cybertron Optimus Prime with 
Earthrise Prime. And like I said, it's just as long. So, man, you just really got your money's worth with leader class figures back in the day. So continuing on with the transformation, what we're going to do is take the rear of the cab section and let's go ahead and separate these. This will form Optimus Prime's legs, of course. And now you want to bring these around and up, just like so, for forming the back of Prime's legs and giving him some heel spurs. Now let's go ahead and rotate the legs down and take this waist plate and fold it down. Now from here, you're gonna take these translucent side windows and bring these around to form Optimus's chest. As you can see, there's some little tabs right there. Just snap those together. So you've got that going on. And then you're gonna take the front portion of the cab and split this apart. This will form Optimus Prime's shoulders and arms. You wanna bring this out. And as you can see, there's a really big mushroom peg right there that's gonna line up with that port. But, let's see, bring this section up and the arms down, and now snap that into place. Go ahead and do that with the other side. Bring these out and over. There we go. So yes, these sections right here will fold up, forming large shoulder pauldrons. Now you just simply rotate the fists around. So there we've got, we're almost done. That keeps popping off. And now there's a little lever right back here. Slide this lever up, revealing Optimus Prime's head. And there we have Optimus Prime in robot mode. And this is a big, bulky Prime. This is the Prime who hit the gym in the 90s. This guy is jacked up, and I love it. He is just such a unique look for Optimus Prime. Now taking a closer look at the head sculpt, the head is very... Beast Wars. He's got that open mouth plate right there. Yellow eyes, yellow crest, little yellow details there on the side. Not the biggest fan of that look. I prefer my primes with the mouth plate, but that's going to come into play later on. Lots of great details once again all over. Fantastic paint applications. The Autobot logos carry over from vehicle mode. The translucent windows. The windows here make a pretty good chest. Little yellow details there on the waist, some orange knees. Now you don't get many primes with orange details. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I love the fists. The fists are just big and beefy. Like how that pipe work looks right there. And there's actually articulation with the fingers. Now articulation for the entire bot is prime's head is on a swivel. It can do a complete 360. The arms can do a complete 360 as well. They can go out, but only so far because of the big shoulder pauldron right here. And there's really nothing you can do about that. That's as far as it's going to go. There is an elbow bend and rotation. No wrist rotation whatsoever. No waist rotation. The legs, they can go forward. They can go back. You can actually move this waist plate out of the way so you can get a little bit more range of motion. Now, going back to that wheel that wasn't working, my wonky wheel, that's actually on a swivel. So you can bring the wheels up to get more articulation with a sidekick for Prime. Put that back in place. There is a rotation right there for the upper thigh and a knee bend. No ankle tilt whatsoever, but still, lots of details. And man, that chest piece will not stay together. Lots of details and articulation for Prime. Now, since this won't stay together, let's go ahead and show off what is within Prime's chest. Unfold these, and you got this little section right here. And the easiest way to open this is bring the waist piece up. It kind of connects to this chest piece. Press down, that flops open enough to where you can get it. And behold, the Autobot Matrix of Leadership. Let me see if I can get that out. I don't have much of a fingernail. Come on, there we go. So a pretty cool looking matrix. Once again, it's orange. I don't know what's up with the orange for this Optimus Prime, but it seems to be really tiny. He can't really hold it. You kind of slide it over his thumb and pinch it with his fingers. So you've got that going on, but he can't do the whole hold and op open the matrix look. So let's go ahead and we'll put that back inside Prime and get him all sealed up. Whoops, I get that protector 
over the matrix. And now for Prime's weapon, he's got this really cool gun right here. And I like this gun. The main reason, it looks like the blaster from V. So to put the gun in Prime's hand, you'll see these little pegs on either side of the handle. Those coincide with the hole right here on Prime's fist. So if you get that lined in there just right, kind of reminds me of how the masterpiece figures hold their weapons. Once you get that pegged in, bring the fingers around, and there you have Optimus Prime all armed and ready for battle. But that's not all. Prime can also utilize his trailer in this mode. Now, before we start combining Optimus Prime with his trailer, this section has a mode too, a supposed artillery platform. And what you do is you take these wing sections, bring these out, which will actually angle it up, angle your cannons up. You can swing these out however you'd like, fold these sections down, and there you have an artillery platform. So the instructions say. So you bring this down a little bit. So if you so choose, you can have Optimus Prime man this battle station. So you've, you've got that going on. But there's a lot of imagination used for this right here. Now, to go ahead and combine Prime with the trailer, let's move Prime out of the way once again. Go ahead and bring all this together here. And now underneath this blue section that you grabbed earlier, you want to make sure and pull this out and just pull it straight out. It connects via these little mushroom pegs, just like the other blue sections before those mushroom pegs attach right there. Let's go ahead and put this part out of the way. Now we're going to take these blue sections here and pull those apart okay, and rotate those guns down. We're going to bring Optimus back in. So now, take the back sections of his legs. You know, I'm going to bring these down and around like so. There's a mushroom peg that's going to peg in right there. Pop that into place. Move the toe down like so. And do this here on the other side. Just bring, That is on a double joint and on a spring. So just bring it down and around. Snap it in. Move the toes down. And now, right here on the knees, you can slide the leg out slightly, giving him more of a wider stance. So now Optimus Prime's got some really big old clown shoes on. Now you're going to take these sections right here and make sure and line up. You've got a port right there and a slot right there. You want to make sure you get these lined up accordingly. So let's see. I think this one here will go on this side. Snaps right into place. And right there and now you've got optimus prime with his giant boots now that prime has his gene simmons boots on we're going to go back to the trailer section and what you're going to do is unfold these wings just like they were for flight mode get these all unfolded and rotate around so you have the cannons facing down get everything angled just right this takes up a lot of space. So the cannons are angled down, the wings are pointed up this way, and you now have these black sections which are gonna form shoulder straps for Prime's backpack. So go ahead and flip these up. And now we're gonna bring in Prime. Now I'm gonna try my best to get this on screen to where you can see it. You wanna rotate Prime's arms up and if you look right here, there's a slot where these bottom sections are going to fit. So let's go ahead and line this up just right. Get that slid in. Go ahead and move Prime's arms back down. And now you got these shoulder straps. These are going to flip right over and snap into place. And there you go. You've got Optimus Prime in super mode. And this is a massive bot. That's the best I can do to get him all on screen. Let me see if I can adjust these weapons accordingly. These are supposed to be underslung, so you kind of attach them just under Prime's arms, like so. Actually, let's remove the blaster. I like the blaster attached to the cannon opposed to Prime's hand this way. 
So there you go. You got Prime all ready to take on the Decepticons. And this thing is just amazing. Plus, you can swing these blasters out here. So now he has knee cannons. And I dig that. That just looks awesome. This is an impressive Optimus Prime figure. And of course, all of the gimmicks, the cyber key gimmicks work in these modes as well. Place the key here in the Mega Cannon. It'll open up. And he can open fire. And of course, you can also launch the missiles. Now, I do wish that there was some way to attach the weapons to the forearms. You just kind of have to maneuver them accordingly. Fortunately, this Prime has ratchets that'll kind of hold everything in place. But man, I just can't get over how awesome that looks. Now, of course, there is one more detail for this super mode is if you rotate Optimus Prime's head around, there is a little lever. I don't know if I can zoom in close enough now, but there's a little lever right there. So if you flip it down, Optimus Prime will have, if I can get my fingernail in, you flip that up and there's his mouth plate. How cool is that? You go from the Beast Wars Prime to G1 Prime. He's got these little flaps that you open up and there you go. There is Cybertron Optimus Prime all armed and ready for battle. And he absolutely looks spectacular. I love this figure. I cannot believe it's taken me that long to pull him off the shelf and revisit him. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is 2005's Transformers Cybertron Leader Class Optimus Prime with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Generation 1 Power Master Optimus Prime, and Transformers Earthrise Leader Class Optimus Prime. 2005's Transformers Cybertron Optimus Prime is an amazing toy. This figure is so much fun. I love the vehicle mode. I love the beefy robot mode. All the gimmicks, all the attachments. This guy is just a ton of fun and a great addition to your collection. Now, I forgot to point out the wheels are really cool for this super robot mode because there is suspension. So that's awesome. He's big and he's beefy. And now the wheels will actually collapse in when you go to stand him up. Plus, I don't know if I can get it to zoom in any closer. I love the details on the straps. He's got spikes and weapons built in to the shoulder straps of the wing mode or the jet pack. But man, this thing is so cool and I love it. Like I said, I can't believe I haven't touched this figure for so long. And even today, he still impresses. So there you go, guys. 2005's Transformers Cybertron Leader Class Optimus Prime. So, does a 2005 Transformers Cybertron Optimus Prime belong in your collection? Well, if you're an Optimus Prime fan or a fan of the Unicron Trilogy, Absolutely. This is an amazing figure. I love the gimmicks and just how solid this guy is. And he's just a ton of fun. Now, if you're a G1 enthusiast and you love your G1 figures and all the modern new reincarnations of G1, you still may want to check this guy out because trust me, he is very impressive. I cannot believe, I said it before, that I haven't touched this guy since 2005. He is just so much fun and just really blew me away even after all the modern figures I've messed around with for the last, what is it, 17 years? So yeah, you see this guy on the shelf, pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. Just make sure he has his planet key and his three missiles. As I said, I'm not even sure I have the right planet key and I have these two others, yet I don't own any other Cybertron figures other than the universe drop shot I just got, and he came with the key. So apparently when I sold all these figures off, somebody didn't get the key. <laughs> now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. And please, once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please help me out. I am trying my best to reach 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. And if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. 
Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hello!